Hello, gorgeous. I hope you're doing well. All right, let's get into it and find out what your spirit guides want you to know today. This is going to be a general collective reading for all signs. So if this message landed on your feed, there's clearly a message in here for you, but it is, again, a general collective. So you do need to use your intuition to know for sure what parts are for you if it's, or if it's for you. But uh, most likely it is for you if it's landed on your feet, okay? So they wanna talk about your money. So I'm gonna just kinda switch over to my money decks here and see what they have to say. <clears throat> my voice is, sounds a little raspy, I do apologize for that. But what's important is the message. Clearly there's something you need to hear that can help you with your your money, and I don't know at this point if that's gonna be like your career or money you make from a hobby or money that you make in a way that's um, like investment or something that you would be getting like an inheritance, but let's find out more. Since I did um, grab for this deck, I'm thinking it might have something to do with earned income, something you earn. So it could be your full-time day job or it could be a hobby. So they're suggesting this is something to do with writing. Could also just be verbally speaking using your words. But we do have the writer card come out here. So if this is something that resonates with you, then you can take this as a sign from spirit that you should do something here, maybe um, as a hobby on the side at first, because if you do that, that'll bring in good luck because we have writer and luck coming out together. Your words have power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. So meditate on um, if you find yourself feeling drawn to writing a story or this could be a career in social media management, writing a book, content writing, blogging, poetry. So meditate on that. If there's any kind of pull that you feel, I would do it because it looks like it will bring you good luck. This card talks about how you should use your words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. So this also could be, even if you, being a writer or any of the stuff we just discussed, if it doesn't resonate with you, they could be saying to script your manifestation, that writing it down will help bring you good luck, okay? Your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. So it could even just be you scripting it, yeah. And then this will help bring in luck. So whatever the case, resonate on, meditate on what that means for you. It says anything you do now will be very, very prosperous for you. So like I said, try to figure it out for yourself. If this is like literally a hobby or career where you're physically writing something, or if this is just you scripting your manifestations, my um, Amazon fire just beeped. So that could suggest that that is for a lot of you, that's what they're talking about is writing down, scripting your manifestations will help bring you extra added luck. But you know, meditate on what that means for you. We'll see what else comes out in this reading. So there might be something, yeah, you definitely need to meditate on this. This will give you clarity. But it also is something you need to meditate on is, is ending either a cycle or ending maybe what you used to do. Something 
is ending or needs to end. So meditate on what this means for you. Something needs to come to a culmination. It could be also that they're telling you, they're trying to give you little hints on how to manifest properly and scripting would be one of them. And then this would be coming to surrender, letting it go. Could be that as well, okay? So, um, but it also could be, you know, if there was something in your past that's just not serving you anymore, you know, ending it and letting it go. But do meditate on that to make sure that you're doing what's best for you, what's right for you. Let me go over here and grab. I'm going to do this Housewives Tarot deck here as we continue with this manifestation. Let's see what this Housewives Tarot deck has to offer. Tell me more spirits. Ooh, we're getting quite a few here. Ah, see the Six of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So the Six of Wands does suggest that you're headed towards some kind of victory. The Queen of Wands is about, in a normal deck anyway, is about you basically stepping into your power, doing some shadow work, and then kind of realizing what your sole purpose is, is usually what this card means for me. And the Ten of Wands is about, you know, completing a cycle where you felt burdened and dropping those burdens. So if you've been working too hard, looks like she's got all these different tools in her hand. They're all kind of similar, but different. So, you know, you've got like a broom, a rake, a mop, different kinds of mops. So it's like she's using too many tools here. Like put them down and do one thing at a time. So it could also be that you were overwhelmed trying to take on too many things. So maybe you need to meditate on what doesn't serve you, what you should drop, what burdens you should drop. And if there's any to keep moving forward, fine. You know, pick one tool at a time or one job at a time. Maybe you've got too much going on. I know that a lot of people say multiple streams of income is good. And if it's working for you, great. But if you've got a lot going on, lots of different jobs, or you're trying to use a lot of different tools for one job or whatever this means for you metaphorically, needing to drop. Because even the Six of Wands, there's all these tools kind of hanging around. But Six of Wands is usually about victory. There's going to be people <laughs> peeking at what you're doing being very impressed with how clean you've got the place here or what kind of job you do metaphorically. So you're gonna have nosy, nosy Nancy's peering through the window, but you're gonna be doing a great job. But again, part of this is you needing to drop things that are just not working for you and kind of stick to one thing. And again, the Queen of Wands could be in my regular deck, could be about you finding your sole purpose. So maybe that has to do with writing or social media or something like that. Because even though I'm not writing, I'm still using words, you know? So anybody that is a content creator, whether you're writing a script and it's scripted or not, that just says content writing. So, you know, it could also be verbal words. It says stories matter on here. So maybe telling your experiences, telling stories, or like I said, making sure this could just be for some of you. If that doesn't resonate with you, if everything's going good with work and you're not feeling a need to end certain things or start something new or, you know, just scale down to one, one thing that works, just not be so scattered, maybe not have so many burdens at one time that you're carrying. If that's not resonating with you, then this could be about you, just like I said, um, needing to script your manifestation and then surrender, let it go, not cling to everything, not be overburdened by everything. There's definitely a need here for you to meditate on what this is. 
There is something also coming to completion here with this culmination, you stepping into your power with the Queen of Wands, and this one says power. So meditate on what that means for you and kind of what you feel like you need to do beyond what this reading tells you. I see the fool on the bottom. So for, for a lot of yous, it could be a lot of yous. Now I sound like I'm from like New York or something. I don't know, maybe I'm tired. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of tired and my voice is kind of raspy, so I apologize. But this here, it looks like, you know, she's starting a new cycle. So again, for some of you, you've got culmination. We have a cycle ending. We have the 10 of wands, which does go on to talk about a cycle ending and dropping things that don't serve you. She, over here with the queen of wands, now she's sitting in her power. She's only using one tool. She's going towards victory. So you probably are starting a new cycle with regard to work. So, I mean, for you, I would not recommend somebody quit their day job that they're making decent money at just to go chase their passions if they haven't even started building any kind of opportunity or business. You know, unless you know you have a good plan, you have money saved up, whatever, you know, let's be smart about it. But this could be maybe um, working towards starting something on the side. And then when you finally get that built up, being able to drop all the burdens of the past of things that didn't work, it could be, you know, if you have an opportunity, maybe you're a stay at home mom and your husband makes enough money and you can start a new cycle where you're starting, you're taking on a new project, a new hobby, and it turns into a business. I mean, here she looks like she's about to be the Avon lady or something, although she's kind of dropping a lot of things here behind her, but she doesn't seem to care. She seems pretty happy. So I don't know. I don't know what this is exactly for you, but let's keep pulling. Maybe we'll find out. And of course, I'll, I'm going to go into a bonus extended soon where we're going to get more information. So if you choose to watch the bonus extended, if you're curious what this luck might be or what this opportunity might be, what they're suggesting, make sure to watch the bonus extended. The link will be in the description box below. Tell me more spirits. Keep in mind that when people watch these readings, the whole thing might be for you, parts might be for you, and that's where you have to use your intuition. Typically, when I watch videos like these, I listen. And when I watch lots of different messages from lots of different readers, I listen for repetitive content. So like if it's a keyword that keeps coming up, lately I've been seeing ravens a lot. So it's like, okay, there's obviously I keep hearing people mention ravens. And so because I'm noticing that, that's obviously a sign. Um, trying to figure out what it is, but you know, that's that's how I do it with paying attention to these readings. Okay, so we have physical health coming out. Living an unhealthy lifestyle is decreasing your focus and energy. Honor your temple. Adequate nutrition and exercise can help boost your concentration and energy levels. Levels which can significantly increase the chance of personal success. So that obviously doesn't directly correlate with what's going on over here, but I feel like they're telling you that you do need to pay attention to your body. That brings up a good point. I didn't get to sleep till probably seven or eight. I don't know. I just was really bad about going to bed last night till in the morning and probably didn't get a full eight hours of sleep, which is probably why I'm feeling drag, like I'm dragging, I'm tired, my voice is, you know, kind of, you can tell by my voice. I feel like, um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can feel it seems kind of raspy compared to normal. But so, you know, sleep is important, nutrition, um, energy, you know, exercise. I keep kind of messing and fumbling up my words, right? So that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. So this will help your concentration and energy levels, which will help your um, your productivity when it comes to whatever this is. Like she looks like she has a lot of energy right here. Here she looks very burdened and tired. So you might be feeling very burdened, very tired. Again, once you drop some of these things that aren't, I mean, there's no way she needs all of those mops. There's different mops. She's got one, two, at least three, four, five different kinds of mops. She doesn't need all those kinds of mops, right? And you don't need a mop and a rake at the same time, you know? Put the rake away until, you know, you need it or whatever. So she really 
You know, here she's like, okay, now I'm sitting in my power. Now I just have one tool. Why didn't I do this before? She's like, why didn't I do this before? Huh? Eh? And then over here, she's really cleaned the house. And the kitchen spot spick and span. I don't like the fact that all the tools are still over here. She needs to put those away. But you got these people peeking in through the window and they look very shocked. Like, how did she do it? So something you're going to do here, you're going to drop what doesn't serve you or you need to. You're going to maybe focus on one opportunity. You're going to start a new cycle where you're going to drop what doesn't serve you. You're going to do what makes you happy, what makes you passionate. You're going to feel like you're floating on air here. You're going to be looking good. You're going to be paying attention to your physical health or this is what you should be doing. Just ending a cycle, ending what doesn't serve you in your life. Like I said, do meditate on whether, you know, that means trying to start a new business on the side and then eventually ending your old one. Again, I wouldn't suggest people just up and quit their day job unless they have a good plan or money saved or whatever. There was one lady that I read an article about. She wanted to be a social media influencer. So she up and quit her job, moved to like Texas because that's where all the con her favorite content creators live. So I guess she felt like she needed to live there. I don't know, but she had three kids and she ended up like homeless like, come on, you gotta, it's good to chase your dreams. Absolutely. But start it on the side, be practical about it. You know, if you want to leave a job to be able to do it full time, then you better save up a good amount of money, but it can take years and years and years to build a business. Two years, five years, 10 years, you know? So plan for that, but do whatever you want to do on the side. But there is, you know, definitely something here about being able to drop some burdens ending a cycle, going into a new cycle, feeling really good and refreshed about it, dropping what doesn't serve you, focusing on maybe one or two things, maybe a main job and, a, and one hobby or something, and you receiving success. And because you do this, because you either script your manifestations or do what's on this card, become a, a writer some way, somehow telling your story, a career in social media management, book writing, content writing, blogging, just influencing people with your words. I don't know. Or like I said, if that does not resonate with you, then just scripting your manifestations. This is going to help you bring in good luck. So that is what's wanting to come into you. And what will also add with that good luck is taking care of your physical body. They're also letting you know that you have potentially a blocked crown chakra and by balancing that unblocking that that will help you because that's going to help you to when you do this meditation here right so maybe you're not receiving the messages from the divine as well as you could this says if you have a blocked crown chakra you could be experiencing narrow-mindedness greed and or materialism or excess excessive egoism to heal your crown chakra, practice living a minimalistic life. That actually blends very well with dropping what doesn't serve you. So maybe even just decluttering your house. I'm getting to the point where I kind of want to, at least for a little while, feel free. I've had a lot of junk that I have acquired over the years. Well, it's not really junk. I can actually sell it for money. Just need to get around to listing it and stuff. But it just makes me feel weighed down. So I do wanna, you know, start to work on easing up my life, getting getting rid of things you don't need. If you're not using it, get rid of it, sell it. This also talks about using crystals to help unblock your crown chakra or going outside to help you experience spiritual growth and feel more connected to the universe. So getting out in nature, both of these, you know, she's meditating, taking care of her body, um, you can also go on YouTube and type in like guided meditation to unblock my crown chakra, all kinds of different things. So that's what we have so far. We're going to go into the bonus extended now to get you some more details, some more advice on what you can do to um, help improve your luck when it comes to your finances. What else do they suggest? What else can you do as far as the law of attraction goes? And maybe we'll find out more what they're talking about um, as opposed to maybe what this hobby is or what this, you know, what this is that you're going to want to uh, 
focus on here that's going to get you to this luck to this victory so if you want to know more watch the bonus extended the link will be in the description box below and or get a personal reading that's even better the link for my website will also be down below it's www.bossasswitch1111.com go to my website check out my different offerings and we can Look in if you don't know if this is for you or not, or you just want more information, or you have another topic, other question you want answered, go to my website and check out my different video readings that I do. All right, I'll see you soon.